The title of this video is Metallica is overhated because it's true. Okay, that's a dumb thing to say, but that is true. It, they are an overhated band. A lot of their criticisms and a lot of reasons they're being singled out, a lot of it is stupid. But yes, they are overrated. They're overrated and they're overhated. Much like my favorite video game, Final Fantasy VII. Overrated, but overhated. See, when Metallica started off, they were a glam metal cover band for Motley Crue. Or at least that's how the original intentions of the band. However, when her debut album started, even though it had glam metal elements, it was still very much a thrash metal album. I think it was Kill 'Em All. Yeah, it was Kill 'Em All. And then a few years later, they released Ride the Lightning and Master of Puppets. Had one more thrash metal album, and then. When the black metal album was released, they went from being a thrash metal band, and then they downgraded to a heavy metal band. And it was a diamond album. So you know that when an album goes diamond, that means that 10 million people bought it. If 10 million people are willing to invest their money into an album, you best believe that there's something... kind of crappy about it because people will hop into bandwagons for things that already lost some of their relevance in the 80s Metallica wasn't that mainstream however that's where most memorable work was when they weren't really known but they were doing stuff that was different Metallica is a thrash metal band was the kind of thrash metal band that wasn't afraid of being melodic. I know a lot of thrash metal songs where it's five minutes of power chords, pentatonic scales, which is pretty much death metal. I'm not death metal, that's stupid. Heavy metal, which is what Metallica downgraded to. Thrash metal is pretty much heavy metal, but for different attack, more palm muting, more aggressive drums, more aggressive guitar attack in general. That's the only difference. That's the only change in the variable. Other than that, it's pretty much the same shit. The only difference is Metallica didn't do that for five minutes straight. They took breaks, having little melodic guitar numbers. It was nice. It created a bunch of four albums that were really balanced. It wasn't just aggressive attack, aggressive attack, aggressive attack for 30 to 50 minutes straight. It was something where you're really getting your money's worth in terms of the sound. But it wasn't that great anyway. So when they downgraded, you know that they downgraded when their future songs would be in WWE pay-per-views. And it'll be used to promote wrestling matches. Because WWE likes to put up pleb tier music. I mean, how many times have they put up Limp Biscuit? You're never going to hear a Tool song in a WWE. And Tool is overrated too. They're my second favorite rock band. Actually, they might go down to third or fourth now because... I'm starting to really like Isis. But Tool is a really great band. They're also overrated. And they're also kind of overhated too because of, they're single out for dumb reasons as well. Point is, a lot of what they're being hated for, guess what? They were never that great of a rock band. They never fell off in a way until Lulu. That Lou Reed album wasn't very good, and I think Lou Reed, now that he's dead, I wonder if 
he really is in hell because of that album. But it wasn't his fault completely, anyway. <clears throat> Take a band like Avenge Sevenfold. Avenge Sevenfold started off as a metalcore band. Or at least his first few albums were metalcore. When people know Avenge Sevenfold nowadays as a heavy metal album with influences from Metallica, Iron Maiden, uh, we do his priest. Nah, was it? Yeah, Iron Maiden. Definitely Iron Maiden. I get them confused with Black Sabbath because of the names and Alice in Chains, but they're pretty much just heavy metal nowadays. That's all Event Sevenfold is right now. Event Sevenfold has a lot of fans, a lot of people that are stretching out their ears to look like the Event Sevenfold members, looking like meth addicts to look like Event Sevenfold guys, looking like hot topic frequenters to look like Event Sevenfold guys. And they pretty much did exactly what Metallica did, but without the commercial success. And not being as balanced and melodious. However, I still like them. I still like almost all Metallica songs. Because they're not bad. And in music, you don't have to be great. It's not like a movie where when you have two hours of a movie, it has to be good. If there's an hour and 30 minutes, it better be good. Because if it's not, then you just wasted your time. If a song is good, not great, good, maybe even mediocre, that's still acceptable if it's a three to five minute, hell, even seven minute song. As long as you balance it out. Metallica have been consistent throughout their entire career. Consistently crappy? Maybe, but they've been consistent. There were a lot of bands where they fall off and it's crazy. I mean, think about Morbid Angel and their last album. That shit really fell off. That shit was crap. But... No one's really hating on Morbid Angel like that. And I'm not doing this to defend Metallica, I'm just saying a lot of metal guys like to get into these echo chambers where they're saying the same shit over and over and over again. You start to wonder if they really believe in their opinions. How many of those people that hate on Metallica for their downgraded albums actually listen to those songs and like them? I wonder because... They're not that crappy. Now, I don't remember the last time I heard a Metallica song. I don't even know 100% if I heard one this year. I know I did last year. But my memories of their music... I guarantee you, if I listen to it again, right now, if I listen to a new school Metallica song, it's going to be okay. It's going to be good. There's no reason to really act like Metallica owes its fans something. Even though they are douchey, from what I've heard. They don't really owe you anything. They've pretty much done it all. Except make a really exceptional album. But that's about it. Anyway, this is Mr. Wonka7. Um, I think I've said all my points right now. They're over-hated, over-rated, or good band, or crappy band. I haven't contradicted myself. I'm not speaking in binaries right now. I'm speaking in dualistic shit because I'm a pretentious asshole. Anyway, respect the king. Fucking...